what's up you guys. Putting a trailer hitch on your Subaru Impreza can take it to some really cool places like biking, camping, or even towing a small U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. We're gonna start by prepping the underbody of our vehicle for our hitch. We're gonna start by removing these two plugs from the bottom of our frame rail. It's just gonna be the two on the end, not the one in the middle. And we'll be using a flat head screwdriver to remove those. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. Next on both sides, we're going to enlarge the forwardmost hole to allow our hardware to go into place. As you can see, it's just a little bit too small where you can't get our spacer and bolt in. So we're gonna use a step bit to just slightly enlarge it to allow our hardware to go through. So after we've drilled a little bit, we'll just check to make sure our hardware fits. And if it needs a little bit more, we'll just drill it out a little bit more. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. Now starting on the passenger side, we're ready to bring our hardware into place. Now each attachment point has a different size bolt. Our most rear attachment point uses a smaller bolt and spacer block. And the hole we just drilled, our most front attachment point, has a larger bolt and spacer block. Now to bring them into place, we're gonna be using our fish wires. Now they come in two different sizes for our two different bolts. So let's make sure that we'll use the right size as we bring them into place. Now we're gonna start with our smallest fish wire and we're gonna bring it through our most rear attachment hole and we're gonna push it out through our access hole in the rear. Now we're gonna take our small bolt and spacer block and we're going to attach it to our coiled end of the fish wire. Then we're gonna push our spacer block into our frame followed by our bolt. And then we'll pull it into place. Now for our larger bolt, we're gonna use a reverse fish wire technique we're going to attach our coiled end of our fish wire first, and then we're gonna take our bolt and push it into the frame, followed by our spacer block. And then we'll just pull it back down. Now we're gonna leave our fish wires on, and then we'll repeat on the driver's side. Now we're ready to bring our hitch into place. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch can be a little heavy. Now before we raise our hitch all the way, we're gonna bring our fish wires through our holes on our hitch. On our rear hole, we're just gonna pull it through. Now for our most forward hole, we also have a spacer block that's gonna be sandwiched in between our hitch and our frame. So we're gonna run that fish wire through the spacer block and then we'll run the fish wire through the most forward hole on our hitch. And we'll do that on both sides. And then we'll bring it up all the way over our exhaust. With our hitch in place, we're gonna remove our fish wires and we're going to install our provided flange nuts. With our hardware in place, we're ready to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer's specification. We're gonna be using a five inch extension and it helps to use a swivel socket as there's some bolts that have some weird angles to get to them. For our small bolts, we're gonna use a 17 millimeter socket and for our larger bolts, we're gonna use a 19 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the driver's side. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is three and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 11 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and a cargo carrier. All right, guys, that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.